Hey, it's Enigma Hood here. Kicking ass and chewing bubblegum, just like Duke Nukem. I'm gonna talk a little bit about, uh, Jesus. Uh, I just want to address the point of some atheists who don't believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, or when I say don't believe in, don't believe that he ever existed. Uh, do I believe Jesus ever existed? Um, I'm gonna say I, I think it's, it's probable, probable that a man whose name was Jesus of Nazareth or whatever the fuck his name was said he was the son of God and uh, people, some people, his devout followers believed him and uh, then he was crucified which at the time was normal and common and that was it. Uh, there's nothing particularly unusual about that story alone. Uh, people call themselves the Son of God all the time, and they're cult leaders. Uh, it's, it's not unusual for something like that to happen. Uh, does this kind of story, the existence of a man named Jesus who, did all, who said he was the Son of God, does that demand scientific evidence? Uh, n not really. Uh, you, can't, you can't really prove something like that with scientific evidence any more than you can prove the existence of George Washington or Abraham Lincoln with scientific evidence. You don't really need that. Uh, we have we have other evidence. We have uh, third-party references to indicate that these people did in fact exist. Or we could take another example, uh, like Genghis Khan, or uh, uh, I don't know, uh, anyone else. Uh, I'm trying to think of an old, older guy. Uh, let's say Julius Caesar then. No, maybe him. Uh, we have enough evidence from third parties, just historical texts, which say that these people existed, and uh, as long as and since they existed, they have impacted history in some meaningful way, and that's enough evidence for us to say that these people did in fact exist. Uh, we don't need scientific evidence to to verify that they have existed. We don't need to have their their bones and then do DNA analysis on that. No, that's not necessary. Uh, similarly, uh, I, I do accept that a guy named Jesus probably existed and just said he was the son of God. Uh, that does not, that's nothing particularly unusual about it. Like I said before, it doesn't demand scientific evidence. However, when you are saying stuff like he was the son of God, he walked on water, he was able to fly, he uh, could heal the dead, he could uh, resurrect himself after he's been killed. Those are extraordinary claim claims, and those do need scientific evidence to verify them. Uh, but, you know, those claims are not any different than the, the claims of cult leaders that Jim, like Jim Jones or uh, Shoka Asahara. Uh, their followers also claim that they had superpowers, too. So it's it, it's the same same shit. You know, the cult leader says he has superpowers, and but the cult leader himself does exist. Uh, Asahara, is, he he does exist. Jim Jones did exist, uh, and I, I do think that probably Jesus, he probably did exist. Now, uh, if you're an atheist and you don't believe in Jesus, I'm not gonna. Uh, spend a good deal of my time trying to convince you that he did exist. I don't really care. If you don't want to uh, believe that he existed, that's fine. I, I don't, you know, we're, we're still both a atheists and that's more important to me. I don't really care. I'll let the, the Christians try to prove to you that he existed. Um, I guess that's all I need to say about that. Um, uh, the, the, the point is, the, the important thing to keep in mind is that whether Jesus existed or not doesn't matter. What does matter is that uh, there is no God, and obviously if there is no God, there cannot be a son of a God. That's it.